pissed. But I've got to go face him. Well, first go see your steward before the villagers decide to burn me at the stake. I mean, if you want to, Vulcan. It'll probably turn into an interrogation pretty quickly. Try not to make it worse for yourself. And don't kill anyone, for starters. Especially if he's wearing red. That seems reasonable to me, for the moment. Have returned. What is your desire? Show me what you have for sale. I'd rather stay here, if you don't mind. Why? You're not planning to give me the slip by any chance, are you? I don't like the idea of getting locked up by the Red Scribes again. It might provoke me into a loss of my legendary restraint. And I'm sure that you don't want to have to scrape another one of your employers up off the ground. Hmm. Well, it's true that I'd prefer they remain in one piece. All right, fine, you can stay here. But if you do get it in your head to run away, I will find you. You won't like it when I do. I'm trembling, but yes, I'll wait here. Did you find this famous beast? Found it and killed it. But don't hold your breath waiting for its fur for next winter, because I didn't bring it back for you. Excellent news. I knew the village could count on you. Actually, not so excellent. Aelis is dead. Dead? But no, that's not possible. Uh, are you sure? When it doesn't move, and it doesn't breathe, and it looks at you with an even stupider gaze than one of your guards, that generally means it's dead, yeah. I demand that you show some respect. The Red Scribes are a precious help to us here. Aeolus was a useful man. A... a good man. And he was under your care. Oh, please. Your good man had a few skeletons in his closet. He was controlling the swamp bees to keep people away. He had you all fooled. Aelus was even ready to kill his own daughter to cover up his secrets. What nonsense is this? How can you make such ridiculous accusations? Am I to understand he died at your hands? He was killed by his own magic. I had nothing to do with it. If you ask me, the guy was not much better than the Ice Lords. And as for my accusations, I'm just telling you what I saw with my own eyes. Don't believe me. Ask his daughter. She'll confirm everything I've told you. You can be assured that I shall. What do you know of this prisoner? If Aeolus held her captive, she must have been dangerous. She doesn't talk much. Something tells me she knows more than she's letting on about the Ice Lords. I don't like this. You realize you may have set a wolf among the sheep. Or maybe someone who could be useful in our fight with the Deadwalkers. Well then, you must find out immediately. As of now, she is your responsibility. I should deliver her to the Red Scribes without any further ado. Yet, after what you have told me, I no longer know what to think. 
She will be given a fair hearing. Until that time, she never leaves your presence. If there is the least incident, I promise you, you shall answer for it. And there is no prison here, in case you had not noticed. Okay. Sounds fair to me. <sighs> However low your opinion was of Erlis, his death is a great loss for Valbanar. He was meant to be looking into a most disturbing matter. All right, I can see where this is headed. What do you want? There is no guarantee that you have the necessary skills to handle this matter, Freeborn Blade. Even Mirana is flummoxed. What is it? An epidemic? That's exactly what I'd like to know. Several of the villagers have been behaving curiously of late. They have become distant, taciturn, and barely react to the world around them. They're just hungover. You'd know if you got drunk more often, and you look like you need to. I believe there are a few here who would know the difference. It's something else. They seem very concentrated, as though they are observing us. I fear it's some kind of sickness, and that it will spread throughout the village. Got it. I'll slap him around a little. That should wake him up. My goodness. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but I must confess the results interest me more than the methods. Well, that's gonna be my method, so let's leave it at that if you don't mind. I'm not helping you because you made puppy eyes at the captain. As I understand it, some people are behaving even more stupidly than they normally do? That's right. They have asked me to check it out. Perfect. I'll come along with you. Hang on. What is your interest in all of this? Is there something you're not telling me? What are you trying to prove by coming with me? How perceptive. How brilliant. Yeah, great. Just tell me what you know or think you know about all of this. All right, but keep it to yourself for the moment. We don't want to start a panic, at least not until we're completely sure of ourselves. It seems to me that I recognize these symptoms, and if I am right, these people are possessed. What? What are you talking about? I'm not yet certain. We absolutely must inspect and investigate further in order to be sure. But I think the Deadwalker army is behind all of this. All right, let's go. Vulcan, for fuck's sake, what did you do to Aeolas? I never laid a finger on him, Captain. But if you want my opinion, I think he screwed us over. So you had to kill him? That was our fucking employer. Could you not take two God's damn seconds to think about that? I didn't kill him. It was this woman, Edwin. She killed him. That's what they told me. That doesn't change the fact that that dish rag of a scribe was our client. And your job was to protect him. If he was trying to fuck us over, it's up to me to deal with that. And for a starter, where did this wee tart that's spilling out of her dress come from? She was his prisoner in the swamp. Looks like he was trying to get information out of her, which she obviously didn't give him, considering she's still alive. All right, then. Maybe she can be of use to us. I already spoke with Aeolas's assistant. Seems he pulled the wool over their eyes as much as he did ours. They're petrified. So they've agreed to honor their contract with us. I need you to get this Edwin woman to talk. I want to know where she's from, who she is, who she works for. All of it. Watch out for the Red Scribes. We don't want to get fooled twice. Understood, Captain. I'll check it out. If you can find Hawk, tell him to get his arse back here. I sent him out on a recon mission and he still hasn't come back. You think something happened to him? Well, there aren't any decent whorehouses around here, so yes, something may well have happened to him. I'll find him, sir. Vulcan, I do love our little chance, but shouldn't you be doing something? 
You wanted the Freeborn Glades to help the villagers. Is that still happening? As long as we have to stay here, yes. Why? Have you heard about these villagers who were acting strange? Yes, I've had reports about them. The whole thing stinks, if you ask me. Take that one over there, for example. The one giving me the fish eye. If we weren't stuck in this place, I'd go over there and put his lights out. I've asked Buffalo to keep an eye on them. If they start getting squadly, he'll give us a heads up. I'm leaving. The captain tells me you're keeping an eye on the villagers that are acting weird. Yes. Look at them. You see that couple? Take a good look at the husband. I've seen livelier zombies. It's like he was dead inside. And they aren't the only ones. There must be at least half a dozen of them. But what bothers me is that if you look closely, you can see they're checking everything out. But what's wrong with them? No idea. They look like they're turning into dead walkers. But the odd thing is how they're spread out. You see how they're placed? They can check out most of the village from where they are. I'm almost certain they're scouting the place out for someone. Since you seem interested, you should go and talk to them. Look, I've marked out their positions on the map. I have a few questions for you. See you later. understand what I'm saying. Hmm. Good day. Are you related to this man? You might say that. Miliev is my husband. I'm called Nigella. Well, uh, uh, do you know what's wrong with him? Have you noticed anything strange about him lately? Well, of course I noticed. He's the one is a vegetable, not me. Still, I must admit, it's been nice and peaceful. How long ago did he change? About three days ago. He went out hunting in the swamps. But when he came back empty-handed, he had that far away look in his eyes. Do you have any idea where he goes off to? No, I've got no idea. Not down the tavern, and that's the main thing. It doesn't bother you at all? Let's be honest. Considering the sort of women what are still available in the village, and what a rubbish lover he is, I doubt he's got a mistress. And he's hardly gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamps. You might be surprised. You're too kind. I can't decide whether I'm flattered or vaguely insulted. Don't change a thing. You're perfect. So true. Thanks for noticing. Would you mind if we talk some more about what happened to your husband? Well, there's not much more I can tell you. In what way, Peaceful? Is he normally an active guy? Active? You must be joking. But it's the first time in years I don't have to listen to him whinging and complaining all day long. And I don't know which of the gods I have to thank, but he don't snore no more, neither. You mean he sleeps soundly? Well, he sleeps less, if that's what you mean. I've even caught him sneaking out in the middle of the night, but he always comes back after a few hours. 
Do you have any idea where he goes off to? No, I've got no idea. Not down the tavern, and that's the main thing. It doesn't bother you at all? Let's be honest. Considering the sort of women what are still available in the village, and what a rubbish lover he is, I doubt he's got a mistress. And he's hardly gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamps. You might be surprised. Don't change a thing. You're perfect. So true. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll go. Are you okay? I was just, you know, being polite. Don't feel like you have to give me your whole life story. Has thou gone mad? His lips move not. I'm just trying to save face. I hate being ignored. Do you know this woman? Of course I know her. Her name's Agatha, and she's my wife these past eight years. Even if the old cow treats me like she doesn't know me. What happened to her? Ask her yourself. You don't talk to me no more. I know we had our ups and downs, but still. How long has she been like this? It come over her like a dose of the shits a couple of days ago. See, she, she goes off with, with Jervis and the others to go and collect berries in the swamp. And when they comes back, not one of them will talk to me. Where exactly did they go? What? How the fuck should I know? Uh, you'll pardon me, but gathering berries is women's work. But at any rate, they never go far. Otherwise, they never come back at all. So she didn't go alone? Jervis is one of Mason's men, isn't he? Yeah, that's him. There were five or six of them. Why don't you go and ask Jervis? He should be over by the barracks. I'll have a better chance of talk to you if you don't mention me. Is there anything else strange about her, apart from the not talking? Well, she ain't much between the thighs, if that's what you mean. She don't say or do nothing. Just sort of lets me get on with it. She don't even pretend to notice what we're doing. Men, give them a piece of meat, and they're just a couple of minutes away from satisfaction and sleep. Yeah, sure, but not every man is like that. True. Some are more discerning. Others show the meat a little more respect. I was only trying to give her a nice moment to patch things up between us, sort of. Er, uh, that's not really what I was asking about, to be honest. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, hang on. There might be something else. I woke up this night, and she weren't there. I must have dozed a half hour before I'd gone back to sleep, but she never come back. I never saw her again until sunrise. And I imagine you have no idea where she could have gone? None. And she wouldn't say nothing to me, like usual. I hope that bitch ain't off seeing another man. That's all I need. I can't imagine why she would want to do that. You seem like the perfect husband. I'll be leaving now. <laughs> Is it true you killed the beast? Is it true you quit the booze? What? Ah, oh, that's a load of bollocks. I thought so, but I did kill the beast. Right. Okay, then. You and me, we got off on the wrong foot. We owe you one. That's a man's job you done. A barfly like you probably knows a lot about the people here, I'm guessing, huh? Flattery will get you everywhere. You look like you can probably handle a sword. How come you didn't get recruited? Oh, just unlucky, I suppose. Last time an Alliance recruiter come through, I was stuck in the crapper. Worst dose of the shits I ever had. 
Forget I even asked. So, I never got to the front. I can't tell you how much I regret that. What's your opinion of the steward? My opinion? Tell the truth. I never liked how he talks, like an elf reject. But he does what he can. And honestly, he manages better than I do. Him and me, we ain't always seen eye to eye. For example, if it had been up to me, I'd have driven them refugees back into the swamps. And fuck what that bleeding art apothecary says. How is it going with the refugees? I'm not a monster. I got nothing against sheltering a few brave souls. Most of my lads are blokes who are here to protect their families. But enough is enough. I just can't protect everybody. You can't squeeze a whole city into a fucking life raft. How well do you know Rambo? Well, not enough to trust him, him with his heirs and all. The knight with this and the knight with that. Having said that, he has saved us from a few accidents in the village. He's a damn good fighter, and he don't ask questions. Balls of steel, that one. Sometimes, I think he must have a death wish or something. If that's so, he ain't taking the easy way out. But then, who gives a toss? When he turned up a few weeks ago, it certainly took some of the pressure off. But he acts like his shit don't stink. Obviously, me and the lads aren't good enough for the likes of him. According to the steward, some of the villagers have been acting strange. I found out that they disappear during the night. And is that it? I imagine you'll have to follow them to find out what they do with their evenings and where they spend them. Your man Jervis. He seems even more out of it than the rest of your troops. Oh, him, yeah. Last couple of days, he's gone completely stupid. Shit. He's got it, too. He's gonna go all gaga like those other weirdos. The fact that he led all the other weirdos on an expedition didn't surprise you any? Where'd they go? Well, now you mention it, yeah, obviously, it makes sense. They went off toward the southeast, if I remember right. Worthless wine soap. Right. I'll check it out. Do you have any suggestions? We have to find out what the fuck they get up to at night. With a bit of luck, we'll understand what's going on in the southeast. It'd be better if we start this evening. Wait till night falls. Hey, you, don't doze off. It's time to go out for a stroll. I have to stay here and guard this sector. No surprises there.
was a close one. This whole business stinks. If we can't tell the difference between one of these creatures and the villagers, we're totally fucked. It seemed like they were coming back from the southeast swamps. Maybe something down there is causing all this shit. Whatever power be the origin of these possessions, it be ours. I'll check it out. Have you decided what you're going to do with me? I'm working on it. Meanwhile, I remain a prisoner. You are free to do what you want as long as you stay in the village or with me. But if you cross the line, I'm the one who will straighten you out. So one false move and I blow you up. It's painful. Are we clear? Yes, very clear. And perfect timing as well. It just so happens that I have absolutely no intention of disturbing this delicious village in any way. A place whose tragic end now seems ordained, and over whose corpse the red scribes and freeborn blades will scrabble in the bleeding mud. A spectacle which promises to be unique, and one I wouldn't dream of missing for the world. Well, enjoy the show. But if I ever need your help, I want to be able to count on it. Hmm, very well. You may consider that we have an arrangement. Thanks. <laughs>